See the wind it was a big windstorm too with the the thing yesterday. The storm, so you had to have. So you can see here all the all the snow got blown here and there and everywhere. We had uh, 54. I thought I heard this morning there on the radio. I think it's 54 centimeters of snow. There's that big all the snow there in front of the house. This was all pat bare patch yesterday. So oh, this is where it's left. There's no another big drifts we got. And there's naturally there's drifts in my you can see there on my pipes on hook, my downspouts on hook, so I'll go in there to do that. I'm going to go out with the tractor now. See yesterday there behind uh, Mr. Bavino's cottage it was all empty. You remember? There was no snow at all and when the wind wind shifted brought all the snow from up the hill and put it all there. And uh, if you can see, look, there's no snow this side. Look, at the, look, you can see the ice on this side of the river, but not on the other side where the, wind, the wind's pushed all the uh, thing on the other side. You see now, let's go over here. Got to walk around the chair here so you can able, be able you to see. Okay, see on the side there. Okay, here, the drift in front of Ghouls. It was starting to set up there, but that's not too bad. See, so we got a, a, a drift back there. Look at the river now. See, it's all clear now. On the other side of that river, on the south side, you go over there. There's where you'll see all the drift this morning. Wind was blowing it right on that side. Can you imagine what it looks like over there now? I heard the plows there last night when they were... Uh, And we're going all last night. There's your road up there. Where the, just it's uh, this side of those houses on your side there. So anyway, okay. Anyway, there's the garden. Garden's clear over there, but right behind our house, there's a great big uh, snowdrift right up to our window. Okay, so we'll see you there in a couple of seconds, I guess. I'm gonna go there. Here we are from this from the bedroom window. You can see now when the wind shifted. See, this is behind. Behind, look, all these, all the fields are bare and everything. All those guys wore it. Look at the snow they've got. See, so all against, <laughs> snow's all against them. Christ, there must be about well, four to five feet of snow in there. Now, see, that's all the way up. I can barely make out here. I can't, I gotta stand my tippy toes. Oh, yesterday that was, that's where we're seeing the field over there where all those trees are, that stuff. That's where the other guy lives, Mr. Leblanc, lives back there. You can see a shed there, that's the guy who used to have the tractor. Matter of fact, I think he's out there now doing it. Yeah. Oh, he must have had a heck of a pile of snow in his thing, because he's, he's all surrounded by these fir trees there, as you can see. Those are trees like over there, matter of fact. Uh, his wife was complaining about those fir trees. They're all about 20, 25 feet high now. She can't see the river anymore. So as you can see, you must have one heck of a pile of snow in there. Okay, we'll go down the other side and have a look. There I am, I'm outside. It's my turn to tape. I want to tape to show you the small snow drift that we have. Oh, there goes Burns. Yeah, Cabello's getting his tractor ready there. Oh, gonna have a pee. Bernie has to pee. As you can see, the wind was quite bad yesterday. So, and like Dad said, they said that we had gotten 54 centimeters of snow 
But over here is where Dad's cutting the wood. He decided to cut it, and we'll have some help, hopefully, next year to chop it. We'll have a, a day to chop wood and have a beer and chop wood and have another beer, hopefully. We can have a family picnic or whatever. So this is the backyard. As you can see, we can still have a picnic, but next to the house, you just wait till I show you what we have here. Boy, Jamie and them could have fun here, right? Boy, would you ever be able to build a fort. See how big it is? Yeah. This is a small snowbank compared to what it was a few years ago. A few years ago, we went up to the way up to the bathroom. Wait, I'm going to stop it for a minute. Oh, right now I'm standing near my clothesline, so you can have a better view. But it looks like Dad is getting the tractor ready. Yep. There's the snow bank behind the shed. And wait, I'm going to stop it and so you can see what the back looks like. We forgot to take the back. So as you can see, the, the small shed there, the plywood is coming all apart. Well, we're going to fix that this summer. So now, from the back here, they can't see there anymore. It's a, Dad did a fantastic job. Really, really nice. By the summertime, we'll have it all painted, hopefully. There we go. That's where I have to go there. Get some wood after, under the deck. Oof. That's a hard job, because you're bent over. So, there's a antenna. And that upstairs is Mimia's bedroom, and downstairs is... Marcel's bedroom. I'm at the end of the house, the south side. I want to show you this snowbank, the year that we moved, it must have been at least three times that height. It was almost up to those wires, because I've got some pictures, and that's the telephone wire. And, of course, we didn't have the, this camera, so we couldn't take no pictures. So this is a baby kind of a drift compared to what we had years ago. That's where we go in to clean our chimney, our chimney, our, the stovepipe and the chimney. We open it and we open it from underneath and there it goes up top, way up there with a special brush and puts it down the, the chimney and it comes all the way down here and you open that door and I'm down there, and I'm pulling one end, and he pulls on the other end. Uh, we work good together. Yep. See how high the snow drift is when you're on land. Now, I'm 5'4". Over there, we can just barely make Melissa at the top of Melissa's Christmas tree. And, of course, Linda's tree is under all this snow. Yeah. Yeah, that's dirt that you see right there. So, as you can see, there's not too much snow. Bernie's looking for the squirrel. Huh? Where's the squirrel, Bernie? Hi, huh, Bernie? Where's the squirrel? You can hear our tractors in the background. Everybody's cleaning off their snow. And that's my Aries. I took some pictures the other day, but it was so windy. It wasn't very nice. Hang on. I'll try to get... It's a 1987. Drive so nice. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Do I ever like it? Yeah. Oh, there's inside my car. The other day it was too windy. So, you can really see very well. So... I have bucket seats, which I am not fussy for, but the price was right. So, if the price is right, you don't complain, I guess. Are you having a bag? 
and from my car. I really like the back. Yeah, look at our windows on the porch. How it's all full of snow. That's how bad the wind was last night. Yeah. Really bad. And there's my baby over there. I'm gonna try to sell it. So that was my first car. Yeah, that one was a 1978 Chevy Bella. I really liked it. So, there's Mr. Babino's. Bertrand, that old and Maria Lee's Bertrand. Got to stop saying Alps Cottage. And Rita's trailer. She's got quite a snowbank in front. So. noise the tractor makes? Lifting it up. Yeah, lifting it all up. We have to be careful that we don't get full of snow. But they don't know we're here. Yeah. Boy, Barney's on the deck with me. Where he's going to turn it so the snow will go somewhere else. Hopefully. No. Oh. Look how high it goes, eh? Get out of my way! I'm sure that's what the bear's going to say. See, turning it again. So it doesn't get on. Yeah. That's nice of the bear.
still full of snow there now. Yeah. Okay, so now I've got the time again. <laughs> I like to keep the time on it. There it doesn't. But, since I'm recording, I can use whatever button I want. <laughs> and you'll say, oh yeah, there she goes. <laughs> 